Ben, what's important about the Citizens Initiative work in Youngstown right now? I think what's really important is I see this as shifting the balance of power away from corporations and big governments back to people. I, you know, I, I really think that this is, you know, it's an issue of justice. Um, the people who are getting the benefits from fracking, who are making the money, making millions if not billions of dollars. They don't live here, they don't stay here, they don't drink the water, um, and they don't have to live with the consequences of what they do. I mean, this is an extractive industry. They're, you know, they're, they're thinking we just want to pull some resources out and get that money out of this land as fast as possible, leaving us behind. So, um, the reason why I think this initiative is so important is because it switches that around. It says, wait a second, we live in a democracy, and if we live in a democracy, that means that we decide you know, what these companies do with our land and what they don't do with our land. Because if we don't have that kind of control, if they, you know, if we don't have that kind of control like where we live, put your finger on a place on the map where you do have that kind of control. So uh, for a lot of folks, I think it's a wake-up call in the fact that we don't have this kind of power um, that, that has been taken away from us. So, you know, at a fundamental level, I think that it shifts, it does, it shifts power away from corporations and big government back to people and ultimately that's where the solution is because you know we end up with these you know we'll talk about the harms in a minute but we end up with these kinds of these cycles of exploitation and you know fossil fuel colonialism so much because people don't have this sort of control we're just you know resources to be used as opposed to a place where people live that people want to raise their families and and what are some of the what are what's some of the harm that we're looking at from the fracking industry? Well, I mean, it ranges everywhere from like that extremely personal to to global, right? Like at that extremely personal level, we're looking at things like, you know, people who can light their water on fire, folks who get all sorts of like cancers can no longer, you know, have children or, you know, are just become incredibly sick. Um, you know, destruction of property value, you know. Now we're moving into that sort of like mid-regional range, um, going from, you know, these places of beauty and potential to, you know, places of exploitation, industrial zones everywhere. Um, and then you go to that more global level and we're just looking at, you know, this is just putting money in a fossil fuel company's pocket so that, you know, they can just burn fossil fuels, it's not going to make our gas cheaper, it's not going to make us more energy dependent, you know, if anything we're just, you know, burning carbon, you know, just, just burning stuff and, you know, we can have 350 parts per million of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere before we have catastrophic global climate catastrophe, the kind of runaway climate change that, you know, makes this planet look more like it did when the dinosaurs are around. Essentially not a planet that, you know, human civilization evolved to be on. Right now we're at, you know, 392 parts per million of carbon in the atmosphere. You know, this is, you know, on that global level, this is just one of the, like the Keystone XL pipeline, this is like game over for the climate. So it spills, it's cancer, it's contaminated water. I mean, when you poison water underground via fracking, that water is contaminated forever. You know, like you can't uncontaminate an aquifer once you've poisoned it. So, you know, are these companies going to be around for 10,000 years? Are they going to be around for 10 years? Are they going to be around for 100 years? Probably not, you know, but human beings will have to be around here for this long. Okay, great. Thank you very much. You're welcome.